Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator. I am starting a brand new series on a map called Gelderland. Now this one is based in the Netherlands. It is nice and flat. Lots and lots of flat. Now I'm not normally one for flat. I, I, I don't normally go for flat because uh, it, it's a strange and alien landscape to to me. Uh, I'm not used to flat and this is a strange and alien landscape but it's not dead flat. I have had a look around the map and it's not dead flat. There's some like slight undulations in the landscape and stuff like that so it's, it's sort of done really well and I've liked what I've seen. There's a few people who watch from the Netherlands and I know that it's something that several of you would like so I thought well I'll give it a go. Now the thing is it's been a while since I did anything on a map that involved this country. The last time I did, I believe, was FS17. And in FS17, when I started the series, I announced with full and absolute confidence that I was on this map from the Netherlands. It was set in Holland. Uh, no, that was set in Zealand, I think. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, I announced with full and absolute confidence that we would be doing pigs because in the Netherlands they produce Danish bacon. Yes, I really said it. Some of you will remember and some of you will remember pointing it out to me with the utmost of glee. They don't produce Danish bacon in the Netherlands. That the, the da Danish bacon w w would probably be in Denmark. Um, Dutch bacon might be from the Netherlands. No, it, it, with the, the whole Dutch thing going on. Um, so, yes, I, I said that I was going to produce Danish bacon on this map. Now, this, this was several years ago, and it was a genuine mistake. I, I already knew that it, it wasn't Dane. I don't know what I don't even to this day I cannot figure out why I said it but anyway I did it was done the damage was done but in tribute to probably one of the worst errors that I have made since I started playing this game I decided that I'm going to focus this series on pigs mostly however it has been pointed out to me by someone that cheese is also needed so we will do some cows as well we've got a large cow barn here it takes 80 cows uh, there's another one another cow barn over here i think this one was 35 yeah 35 in here we can have so we can we can do that so that we can produce some cheese because there's a lot of cheese produced in the netherlands now the vehicles that we have to start off with oh by the way i thought you'd like to check out my outfit actually is there a better way for you to check out my outfit Turn that one off a minute. Um, so yes, uh, we we are we are doing that. Oh, by the way, this is not a sensible series. I, there is nothing sensible about this series whatsoever. If you want sensible, you will have to go to the other series I'm doing. I'm not planning on doing anything sensible on this series. I'm gonna try and sort of follow a, a you know farming pattern and, and stuff like that. But I have no intention of sort of doing things sensible. I'm just gonna go crazy and do whatever I fancy. Uh, but I thought I'd do it a little bit different to the last time I did a crazy series, uh, which was a fair while ago. Um, so I've sort of got a, a goal in mind, that sort of thing. Now, I was looking for a dressing room. There doesn't appear to be a dressing room. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go into the shop and I'm going to go to cars because they're under cars for some reason. Um, there's all kinds. Th this one here... I think it looks really cool. <laughs> it is like a proper insane machine. And I think we're going to try something with that one. I think we are going to try something with that one. Uh, but there was one in particular. Oh. Right. Well, there's that one. That one does actually 45k. Uh, it was not the, not the quad. No, no. There was one that I wanted. Where is it? I've got lots of quad bikes and stuff. And there's, the, oh, there's a monster truck. I didn't even realize I had one of those. Okay. There's a lot of... This is this one, the tricycle. I wanted this one just as... Okay, we've got lots of colour options. I wanted this one to start off with, and uh, we'll have a look at the Flintstones thing. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Where do I go? What, what... <gasps> oh, it's so shiny. All right, no, I don't, I don't want that. I don't want that. Is, is, there, another, is, is there another shiny? Oh. <gasps> 
I've got a gold tricycle. It's gold! Oh, it looks like a Christmas tree now. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Uh, green, green and gold. Yeah, there it is. There it is. I mean, yeah, the, the red, the, the red gold. I mean, it really does sort of look, look, look Christmassy, but it's not quite Christmas yet. So let's let's stay away from Christmas and and let's go with. I'm going for that one. I'm going for that one. Okay, so we're gonna buy that bad boy right there. I haven't made any modifications to it. I've not made any modifications to any machinery at the moment. And what I've also done is I have put the economy difficulty onto hard difficulty just because I thought it might be interesting. Um, so we've gone hard on there. So if I show you this, right, you've got easy on here and then you have a look at the, the, the grain price. So wheat sells 855 on that one right there. And then if I drop down here and I go to normal that one puts it on to 513 and then if I go here and I go to hard uh we've got 285 so we're gonna go with hard and that's just going to make things a little bit different um there's all kinds of things that I've got so we're not gonna have to worry about money but I wanted to show you my outfit first so I have got a wonderful green suit, this racing suit. I've got yellow marigolds. I could have any color I wanted for those. The wellies, I was a bit limited on the color. And then I've got a glorious purple helmet on top. So there we go. I'm a green dude with a purple helmet. And I've also got the yellow marigolds and the wellies. But we couldn't choose any different colors for those. The disappointing thing about this tricycle, despite the fact that it does look epically cool, is that it's not very fast so i'm just going to i mean i'm gonna be honest with you if this puts you off this this image right here of me on this gold tricycle riding around um if this puts you off the series then this series is probably not for you um because yeah uh, I, i'm just going to be having fun for this one i love the sound of this thing sounds really cool right yeah this is a bit too slow for having a look around this is quite a big map actually all right let me show you the map a second let me let me let me just show you what we got here so we start off with our farm down here so we, we've got this bit down here we own field 15 now that's just a piece of land it's not actually plowed up or anything like that uh there's a lot of fields all the way up through here Quite a number of different fields. If we switch over to farmland in there, you can see that this one is 200,000 euros. It doesn't tell me what the area of it is. It just says, right, that one's 3.2 hectares. This one's 12.9 hectares. You can see we've got some fair sized fields here in places. That's 6.7 hectares. It's 400,000. We own that one. And then there's a little one up there at one hectare. It's 66,000, which we also own. Now, I don't really want that one all the way up there. Not at the moment. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Yep. Yeah. I'm also going to get rid of that one for, uh, you know, because of reasons. Um, right. Main reason is that one's not plowed up. And quite frankly, I can't be bothered with doing the plowing up. This one here is not plowed up either, but I'm going to be using that. There is, in this game, rather a lot of production items, and I would like to be able to use some of these production items, so I'm going to focus on that quite a lot. So, cheese, we definitely want to be making cheese. It, it has been requested that I make cheese. I'm trying to see if this one drifts very much. I don't think it does. We definitely need to make an alteration on this one. We, I'm, I'm going to sell this one now and then, uh, we'll worry about, we'll, we'll maybe, we'll, we'll tweak it for speed some other time. So you stay there a minute and we'll get rid of you. Uh, sell. What I should probably do is uh, modify a vehicle or two and then we've got something that will go a little bit faster. But I mean, for now, let's just have a look at what we've got in here. I don't really know. Uh, 80. That one does 120k, that dino one right there. This one here is only 40k. It takes all kinds of pieces. You can take stock with this one, carry animals around. You can carry everything around. This this small truck thing right here. This, this is awesome. Bale trailer, you got 4,000, 8,000 litres. Animal transport and the bale trailer. I mean, how cool does this thing look? Let's buy this one a minute. We need... Oh, 
20 rims, 18s. <laughs> so many options. Five. I'm just going to go with the little wheels. Wheel brand. Wait, what's that? Oh, it's... Ha! Huh. That's actually really cool. So if if you got the four by four, uh, the the two wheel drive one is just driven. It drive no, it's just driving the front, because um, that's where the engine is. Uh, if you put the other one in, it then joins up and it will uh, do the back as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, no attacher. We've got a trailer hitch on here. I doubt this is going to make a big difference. Um, this thing is <laughs> thirteen horsepower. This is some. Oh, we got so many color options. How are there so many color options on it? Have I, like, picked up a mod that has suddenly given me a load of color options or something? Uh, let's go with some pink bits, and then we will go with... Uh, no, no, no. That's a rather schnazzy-looking silvery color. Doesn't seem suitable. No. All right, it's, it's difficult to see what we re really... Oh, that's hideous. Yeah, we'll we'll go with that. That that that's that's pretty grim looking. And hmm, I mean the goldish kind of color is is good. I like it. Uh, the, the the red maybe no. Let's we need blue. We need blue, don't we? Yeah, let's go with that. That looks suitably garish. And I'll buy that one. So that's 21,000. Oh, wait. I want another one. I want one that's actually going to go a little bit faster. So we've got uh, you in here. 100k. 100k. We, we, so we can have a scrambler. We need to try out this one. We've definitely got to try that one out. So let's buy that one. Flintstones Mobile. That is awesome. Uh, 97. Uh, you're 105k. 105. I think we're going to go with a scrambler. There's a snowmobile there. So many different things. 160. Ooh. Crew cab. Single cab. Let's go with a single cab rather than a crew cab. And configuration standard. Full extras. Yeah, let's go with full extras. And then supercharged 6.2 litre V8. 7.3 litre. What's the difference between these two? A lot of difference. That's six hundred and twenty horsepower. That's four hundred. Yeah, let's 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 do this. BKT, nice. Ooh, look at these. <gasps> oh, that's such a. Oh no, go back. I want that one. I want that one. Wheel Swampers, Swamper Twins. Let's 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 do that. Uh, lighting, We've got spotlights, LED lights, strobes. It's just let's go with the LEDs. I I, I can't be bothered with like oh uh, oh I see. So oh no, we, we've we've got some colours, but then we've also got cami standard winter. All right, that looks kind of cool. Not gonna lie, that 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 does look. Pretty cool. Uh, we, we've got a whole load of other bits. Main color here. <laughs> Where's all these colors come from? I don't know where all these colors have come from, but I like it. What's that one? Design. Oh, I see. Because I've got the, the pattern on here. There. It's because I because I went and picked the pattern instead. Yeah, all right. Let's let's go with let's go with the plain one. So we, we've got the main color is yellow, and then I've gone for design color of pink. School bus angel uh, interior details. So the interior of this one is going to be. We'll put a bit of blue in there like that. Um, this is kind of a pinkish color. Yeah, that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll go yeah, leave that. Metal parts in here. So we've got a lot of metallic colors up there. Uh, there's not a lot showing on that. It's like you can see a couple of the springs here with the coppery colour on it. Doesn't really show up very well, does it? Yeah. All right. Well, that's a little bit disappointing, that one. And 
let's do that one as well so we've got copper copper rims that'll do all right fifty-two thousand. this one should be a little bit faster okay so i've i've go 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 back here I've spent long enough fooling around with buying stuff. We, we'll, um, let's try them out. So we've got that one that we're going to take a little tour of the map with in a minute. Uh, we just want to try out a couple of these. <laughs> Don't stick your fingers in that thing, whatever you do. <laughs> That's, ah, oh, this is, this is glorious. I'm not getting rid of this one. I'm, I'm keeping this one. We need to find something to do with this one, though. We, we definitely need we definitely need a job to do with this one. I mean, I don't even know. Where, where do we go from here? Where, oh, I'm all the way over there. Uh, this, this is a long drive. Uh, that's the edge of the map that way. So we need to turn this way. And, ah. Uh, it's flickering going on up there. I can see the flickering. Right. There's only one cure for that. We're just going to have to stick with the visual season thing. I have got snow on. I'm not sure what's going to happen with that. But we're just going to put the fixed visual month on. And then hope that Giants can eventually fix this nonsense. Because it's really starting to get on my wick. So. We come whizzing on down here. Breakneck speeds. I mean, this this is a pretty cool machine. I, I I do like this. I'm sure we can find uses for it. I'm not so sure about the uncovered engine right there. That does make me a wee bit nervous. What's this? What have we here? Is it, there's a spot right there. Animal. Oh. Ah. So this is the animal yard. Right, okay. This is not what I expected from an animal yard, but there we go. All right. Let's carry on. Um, yes, those of you who are from Netherlands are probably going to see me doing things that you don't normally see uh, when you're, you know, uh, during normal farming operations. But this because I'm... I'm just interpreting farming customs maybe slightly differently than some other people might. Um, we, we, we'll have to see. Now, how far have I got to go? Because this is... That's, that's a long way to go. Uh, you, you, know, you know what? I'm just going to put this one in here a minute. Because th this is a, a, a long trip and I'm tired. And um, this, this is my friend in here. Um... Right in here, we're, we're just going to have some cheese. And, uh, that thing's still... I love this thing. Start that one up. Stop. See how long that flywheel takes to slow down. How cool is that? That is really cool. This mod is brilliant. I love it. I absolutely love it. Right, uh, next one. Oh, no, 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 you can wait a minute, I, I need to try out this, yes, start the engine, that would be putting my feet on the ground maybe, <laughs> oh no, look at me go, <laughs> look at my legs, <laughs> oh. oh, this is the greatest day of my life, <laughs> oh, this is amazing. I'm, am I actually drifting with this thing? <laughs> this goes faster than the other one does. Okay, I'm taking this. I'm taking this back to the farm. <laughs> look, look at the legs. <laughs> oh, that is incredible. I have never seen anything like it. That's, oh, I got that, that. That does look a little bit painful. But <laughs> I am never going to be tired of this machine. <laughs> look at me go. I want to hitch on this thing. Like, there's no hitch. We can't use it for field work. I feel let down now. I really do. Like, I, I feel that we should be using this one for field work of some kind. This, this doesn't seem right. Don't you cut me up. Don't you dare cut me up. I'm very important. I'm Fred Flintstone. And 
Oh, that is brilliant. <coughs> and we've got the safety as well. You know, the, the, the roll bar on this one doesn't look very good. So we, we've got our purple helmet on. And that's going to keep us nice and safe. Look at my legs going. Pumping like crazy. Bring it in rounds. Oh, he corners like he's on rails, this thing does. It's brilliant. Ooh. I wonder if we could actually use this one for compacting a silage clamp. Okay, I definitely want to find that out. I definitely want to see if this one can be used for compacting silage. So we're going to leave the Fred Flintstone car right there. And that might be able to compact silage if we decide to go and make a clamp of silage right here. Okay, that was awesome. And now we have the Lizard Motors supercharged 6.2 litre V8 engine. And it's like 600 and something stupid horsepower, which is phenomenal. So this one, we're just going to have a little look around the map. This one has a 185 kilometers an hour top speed. I'm wondering if the number is actually just showing off or not. Ooh, he's, he's getting there. He's, he's, he's climbing up through the gears. Let's bring you on round. So I'm just going to take you on a little bit of an excursion around the outside of the map. How are you still flashing at me? Seriously, what is wrong with this thing? All right, let's carry on again. So this map has got the traditional ditches in places around that you would expect from this country. And if you drive fast enough over them, you can skip right over the top of them. Are there any problems at all? All it requires is a little bit of speed. And... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so some of the ditches are a little bit bigger than others, it would seem. Um, but you can see that the map is actually fairly big. Like, we've got a really, really big map here, and we've got a lot of space for expansion, which is exactly what I wanted. And just bring that one around a minute. So the ditches that we've got lying around the place... Some of them are fairly big, some of them not so much, but we can fill those in. If we want to expand fields, we can fill those in. So we will be able to use, the, 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 I thought that this map would be absolutely perfect because we'll be able to use the very biggest machinery that this game has got to offer because we can fill things in, we can patch things over, like we, we've got a lot of options here. So there's, there's all kinds of things that we can do and the map does lend itself really well to it. I mean, yeah, you've got roads going across the map, but you kind of expect that anyway. Um, probably my only complaint is the biggest map, the, the biggest field in the map has got poles right through the middle of it, and they have collision. Uh, hmm. Okay, well, that wasn't part of the master plan, but... I do have this, so, you know, we can, it's not going to hold us back, it's not going to hold us back, we can keep going, so we can have a, a little bit more of a look around, and so, you can see some of the, like, well, there's quite a few of the fields that don't have ditches in between, so it's going to be fairly straightforward to go and just, like, join a few of them together, so if we say we wanted to join this one together, all we need to do is... I actually have a chainsaw, so let's 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 have a look at what we got in the way of chainsaws a minute. Uh, <laughs> where's the chainsaws? Ah, there. Right. So we've got the standard chainsaws. We've got a Husqvarna 266. We've got some lightsabers. We've got more Hus Husqvarnas. We've got long reach chainsaws here. There. We've got like a, a really long one there. Uh, I don't know what this one is. Light 04. <laughs> So I, I don't know what that one actually is. I don't know if it's significant about anything. There we go. I see it. It's... Right, it's a bit grubby, but you, you can't turn it round. You can't see what's going on with it very well. So it, it's it's not the easiest thing to see what's happening. Um, now... I did have... Right, Lumberjack mod right there. 
That works. So why aren't you lumberjacking this one? Huh. Right, well... Uh, huh. The idea is I should be able to just remove all of the trees and then we can run down through and, and we can make make the place bigger. Uh, sometimes it works well and sometimes it doesn't. I mean, maybe I need to get rid of the chainsaw a minute and then we'll bring it back. Maybe this will this will help. Right, I don't know. I don't really know what's going on with this one. We may need to get a different tree removal mod to do that, rather than just going through and doing change. But yeah, you, you get the idea. We're not going to do that now. We, we'll worry about that some other time. So we will find a way to remove these errant trees. Let's try turning around and going back the way that we wanted to go. And we can continue on our little excursion around the map and have a look. And you can see what I mean by just the little sort of undulations in landscape. It's just enough. Like, that. there's... It's not absolutely dead flat everywhere. There is just enough with just little bits here and there to sort of show a bit of variation. And what is this? Is this sheep or something? Is this another place I can... Oh, this just looks like more cattle. It's probably a decoration one. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to do some cows, I think, uh, but I'd like to do pigs on a fairly large scale. And I think pigs is going to be fun to do on a large scale because I, because I want to do fairly large scale. I was going to sort of stay away mostly from grass and things, although if I am getting 100 cows, we're going to at least have some grass. Um... I wanted to sort of go with a lot more arable this time because the, the last series I was doing a lot of grass in anyway. So, yeah, I've, I've got reasons for wanting to change things up a little bit. And we've got all of these different fields that we'll be able to join together. Some some of them have got the roads in between. It's a little bit inconvenient, I feel, at times. But we can still work around them and we will still be able to make some very, very large fields. And that's important, I think. Bring you back round this way, and then I was getting a really good speed going there. Okay, so I I went over that bump quite nicely coming from the other way. So we'll do that again. We'll go all the way back up over here. And we'll see if we can get Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.